What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Pokemon TCG Show on Midnight Media TV. As always, I am your host, Corey, or you might know me as Concept of God on Twitch. I will link to our uh, social medias down in the description, as always. But uh, today, we have a little bit of something we haven't done in a while, actually. We're doing just a few blister sleeves. Should be a pretty quick video today, I think. But we're doing eight Sword and Shields, because we're still looking for that uh, Snorlax VMAX that we have not seemed to... Uh, had the luck of pulling yet um the last few days we've done uh rebel clash we've done hidden fates we've done a lot of stuff but we're not doing too many sword and shields so before darkness of blaze comes out we're still on the hunt for a few of the cards that we want from these sets so that includes the snorlax so we're gonna go for it today we're gonna try and get this snorlax and I will say the blisters, uh, they feel like they have way better luck than getting them in individual boxes, than getting them uh, out of like building battle kits, any of that kind of thing. These seem to be way better uh, pull rates, in my opinion. So we'll see if we can do that today. Got eight packs, like I said, and we will see if uh, we can have any luck get passed on, not just from us, but to you guys with code cards and, uh, you know, all the fun stuff. So let's see. Give it a little try. I will say we got all these. Normally we go to like department stores, Target, Walmart, like things like that. Um, but today I decided to go to GameStop just because I just went to Target recently. If you hadn't seen the one of our uh, more recent videos, we pulled a Gold Frozmoth from a blister from Target, I believe. Uh, actually, we just pulled our second one as well. So we're going to try and see what kind of luck we can have today with some GameStop packs. All right. Got a Lightning Energy Pokemon catcher to start. Drizile. Evolution Incense, we got a Choodle, a Rahorn, the Rookity, we got a Krabby, Grookey, we love Grookey, we stand Grookey, nice, Pinkerchin, and a non hollow Roserade. So nothing off the first pack very much, we got a few of those Pinkerchins, we will separate the, the uh, reverse hollows though normally don't sleeve those up too much anymore i've got so many of them especially from sword and shield depending on the set i will say that depending on the set we'll sleeve what we have we don't like to really sleeve once we start getting into the quads of having the exact same thing so let's do that code card for you and let's see if you guys can as well please like and subscribe we are trying to get to 100 followers here gonna have a more vintage opening at probably 500 followers i keep wanting to say a thousand but we're gonna try and get up to 500 first then we'll open some black and white if we get to a thousand we'll try and do some base sets some jungle some uh fossils something like that some a little bit more fun a little bit more exciting than just black and white and uh you know i don't know xy series or something but let's see here, we got ourselves Darkness Energy, got the Metal Saucer, which we have a gold card of that out of the set, that's not a bad thing. Big Charm, got the Sobble, got Rhyhorn, Rosalia to go with the Rosa Raid, Pharaoh Seed, center it up here a little bit, got the Krabby, nice reverse hollow score bunny, and alright, we got a V card, a Regirock. Not bad, we actually don't have, I don't think we have a Regirock V, I know we have the Stonejourner. I think, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not positive. <laughs> I want to say we have Stone Junior, but nice. A V-card, second pack. See, that's what I'm talking about. I really think the blisters are the way to go. I'm starting to think that, personally. All right. Ooh, all right let's get it. This is going to be pack number three. So we are one for two. Uh, V-card hits right now. Let's see if we can get anything. What's the best card you guys have uh, pulled out of out of Sword and Shield? Let me know down in the comments if you can. Trying to, like I said, collect a set. It's a big set, uh, especially with Darkness of Blaze coming out soon. Everybody's going to be moving to that, I'm sure. But we're still going for the Snorlax, man. We need. We have the Snorlax V, we just don't have the VMAX. I have the Lapras VMAX. I do not have either the Gold Zamazenta Zacians. I think we have, I want to say, the Zacian artwork. I don't know, Zama's into artwork. We need the Zacian V regular, but yeah. Alright, Poke Kid, Energy Search, Minchino, Sad Sobble, got the Blip Bug, got the Baltor, Wooloo, Reverse Hollow Chin Chow, alright, and a More Peko Non Hollow. We do like More Peko though, what a nice little Pokey. Nice little Pokey man. He's a cute little Neapolitan ice cream swirl discount Pikachu card. Alright. Let's see, getting into our fourth. So let's see if we can keep the pool ratio at half right now. So for no hollow rares. 
And the same thing, when you get places like uh, GameStop or Target, it's hard to tell if these are all just hung up on the shelf, you know, by row in the box. I imagine that's the way they would do it, but you just never really know. That's kind of why it's fun to go for the blisters, just because you don't exactly know how they're kind of setting them up on the shelf. You don't know how they're organizing everything, getting you ready to come in and buy it. So, you know, see if we can get another pool here. We got ourselves a fighting. Drizzile, the Bisharp, Evolution Incense, Muna, Snom, which again is the card you need before you get that shiny Frost Moth and Rebel Clash. Got the Shelter, Mawile, nice River Hollow Big Charm, and more Peko V. All right. We have quite a few of these, actually. I think we even have one that's graded PS89, I think. But hey, this actually isn't too bad. This looks like it could be a PSA10. So we'll go ahead and sleeve that guy up as well. So that's two pulls. Two pulls out of four packs. So yeah, again, the ratio is there. Especially because, I don't know, something about Sword and Shield is very, very tough, in my opinion. A lot of the uh, pull rates aren't that great with just regular boosters, but the, the blister sleeves seem to be the way to go right here. Alrighty, jump back into it. So I'm talking about Midnight Media TV fam. Let's see. All right, we are two for four V cards, eight packs. So again, who knows what the chances are of getting a hyper rare, or secret rare? Um, but if we can get something really good here, I'll be very excited. Like I said, this is one of the last uh, Sword and Shield openings that I'll probably do before Darkness Blaze, because we've got more Hidden Fates coming, and we have some other things. But I don't specifically think we're going to be doing too much more Sword and Shield. Haunter, Thwacky, Galarian Ponyta, we got the Sobble, Maractus, Mudbray, Ponyard, alright, Reverse Hollow is going to be a Silly Cobra and a Corviknight Non Hollow. Alright, we'll put that guy over there. Definitely seems to be the trend, a back and forth here. Alright, we're going to go with the Snorlax artwork. Maybe we can get a little Snorlax vibe going on here, because that's what we're looking for, is that Snorlax. Oh, got a little fuzz on the table here. Get that out of here. Pew. All right. Or, you know, if we can get a Secret Rare. Definitely won't be mad about that. I don't think anybody would ever be mad pulling a Secret Rare out of any set. Got the code card. All right, let's see what we got. We've been really looking Hidden Fates a lot. That's the big one we've been going through. we got two more of those coming tomorrow, so that'll be the big thing. We're trying to get that shiny Charizard before it just keeps going up in price. I right, got that big charm. Another Thwacky. Pokegear 3.0. Got a Snom. Got the Grookey. Shelder. My Wild. My Pokey right there. Galarian Ponyta. Nice. Another Reverse Hollow Score Bunny. And Non Hollow Graplocked. So that's alright. That's alright. There goes our ratio. Unless we hit in the last, the last two packs, you never know. I will say these were not completely pulled off the uh, the rack and then kept in this order. The guy kind of went through and scanned them sort of individually. So they could have got mixed up. Hard to tell. Alright, let's see here. Two more packs. Can we get a little last pack magic here? Like I said, drop a like and subscribe if you guys are enjoying these Pokemon card openings. I'm pretty new to the game here. However, we're trying to do what we can to stay up with all the major uh, YouTubers here and Twitch streamers that like to open up Pokemon cards, Evolutionary Gaming, uh, Leonhardt, Real Break and Nate, Unlisted Leaf, of course, probably the biggest in my opinion, Super Duper Danny. Everybody that opens up Pokemon cards, we're trying to get into that community, you know, full force because uh, we do a lot of gaming, we do a lot of other stuff on Twitch play music, make drum videos, I don't know, all these other things. Um, I'll link some of those places down in the description as well. But we're getting into Pokemon cards now because of the nostalgia, and we just love it. Me and my girlfriend are really having a good time opening cards together when she's here. So, you know, it's a, it's a fun thing. It brings people together. Nice. She likes Roselia. Ooh, we got ourselves the full art Cramorant V. All right, very, very nice. This is a uh, different Cramorant than what I actually have. Is this the... 
No, this is not the secret rare, but it is the full art version. Uh, oh my gosh, the cut is terrible on that. Look at the side of that. Though. <laughs> but we don't have that Cramorant. We have the regular Cramorant V. But this is a very nice card too. Look at that. All right. Not a bad pull at all. All right. So, I mean, again, can't be angry with these blisters. I'm telling you. They really seem to be coming through. I'm trying to collect, like, two of every blister pack, if possible, uh, from my collection. I've also got, what, I think, I don't know, a whole ETB for Crimson Invasion, which I need to get through at some point. I just keep delaying that. I don't know why. But right now, the only two uh, blisters I seem to keep in my collection are Unified Minds. Every time I start to collect other ones, I mean, I have a few black and white. I'm trying to add to some of the vintage collection as well, but seems like every time I get blisters, I just can't resist opening them. Which, hey, that's kind of the part of Pokemon cards. They're meant to be open, right? So let's see if we can get a little last pack magic here. Everybody, like and subscribe, hit the comment, go ahead and throw me some L's down in there uh, for last pack magic or for loss. Either one. It can be interpreted either way, depending on what we get here. Got ourselves a Rotom Bike, Big Charm, got a Sea King, Goldeen, got a Roselia, Joltik, Silly Cobra. A Blip Bug. Reverse Hollow is going to be a Nine Tails. Okay, not a bad card. And then looks like a. Ooh, we pulled a Golden Air Balloon on our last pack. That is what I'm talking about. My guys. My guys. All right, I'm not necessarily upset that we didn't pull the Snorlax now because we got the Golden Air Balloon. Now, I will say again, out of eight blisters, we just got ourselves four big hits. Well, four, three good hits. And a giant hit right there with the air balloon. A gold secret rare right there. Very, very nice. We are pulling gold recently, guys. This has been a big, big, big hit lately for us um, is with some gold cards. So as you can see, we've got the air balloon. We've got the Cramorant V Full Art. We also have the Regirock and the Morpeko. I mean, what more can you want? That, that's pretty happy. I'm pretty happy right there. Those are a couple cards. Other than the Morpeko, which, like I said, we have the PSA of. But the other three, phew, I haven't seen too many of those come through our lot at least and uh, yeah I'm pretty excited about that actually I'm just kind of like taken back by that air balloon I'm like wow all right very very nice man definitely gotta sleeve that up have to get that graded as well I will say definitely miscut right to left you probably see that on the screen here but nice we are pulling gold hmm that is not a bad thing at all really makes me want to open up that unified minds but I'm gonna hold that off for a little while here um yeah excited about that right there wow all right well yeah if you guys like that opening go ahead hit like and subscribe like i said many times in the video we're going to be opening more hopefully we're going to be doing darkness to blaze real soon um like i said very very happy about that hit getting the air balloon gold which we did not have that's going to be added to our secret rares for sword and shield we still need the uh, zashian and zamazenta secret rares but now we've got like three out of out of Sword and Shield now, I think, out of the gold cards. So yeah, getting the collection rolling, getting things going. Can't be too disappointed with that. Trying to make these videos faster as well. Trying to get them under 15 minutes because a lot of times our videos are like 30 minutes long. So thanks for stopping by. We'll see you guys next time on Midnight Media TV for more card openings for now. Have a good week. Have a good weekend. Have good lucks on your pools, and we'll see you next time.